Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you, I don't know, just a random video. I was trying to come up with something I could do pretty quickly, just to keep my, got like an hour, well, I had like half an hour to kill, and I was like, ah, oh, screw it, I'll just quickly put this together and record a video, why not? So today, I'm going to be doing the aspirational buildings ranked from worst to best. So I have a few videos in the works for the future, one of which is something I don't often do, and that is a designing a town. So, I have, uh, the past week or so, I have been about an hour every night just working on a new tapped out town for a friend of mine, and I'm just, uh, on their tapped out, and I'm, I've been designing it pretty much, uh, they let me do it, so, yeah, it's actually really fun designing a town that only has limited buildings, whereas designing my town... I, I don't even want to touch it. There's too many buildings, and it's it's a lost cause at this point. So, yeah, I think I'm going to really enjoy this, and it actually allows me to really get a sense for how the buildings and decorations in the newer updates can be implemented. Because the issue is, I can't really... I, can, I, I sometimes play around with things, but, like, I never really design any of the new stuff. I just feel like... My town's such a mess. It's kind of like putting up a nice painting in a room full of full of shit. So, yeah. But hopefully, with this, with this new town, I, I can um, bring some some cool little town tours or something. And another thing I want to do is I really want to get back into doing like classic tapped out ideas for like the classic sort of uh, events. And I think a big thing about this, and maybe this might be a video I'll do in the future. So uh, leave some comments in the description for what you think would work but i really want to do like a top 10 aspirational buildings that i want them to add but i think i need some suggestions so leave me some suggestions down below but today we're going to be ranking the current ones that are in the game so if you're not sure what an aspirational building is these are buildings that often cost a lot of money to buy they are buildings that often take more than a day to build and they don't uh, make you cash. So they are buildings, but they earn zero cash. So they are the most pointless thing, but also the most wonderful thing. Now, I'm always like 50-50 on aspirational buildings. I really think for like the high pay in, high, uh, like the high, you, it's such a lot of money. And like back in the day, it was like, I remember back in the day when they added the, uh, the, Fifth, the escalator and the 50 foot popsicle stick and I think I don't think they had the, I don't even think the magnifying glass was added at this point it was literally just those two and I remember like nuclear videos HD had to like go and look at someone's town to see it because not even he had it like it was that like rare like when they first came out I was like oh, holy shit no one has that amount of cash and now it's kind of like nothing I feel like everyone has it in their game uh, earning that amount of cash is now not so hard but, like, back in the day, like, it wasn't... I feel like no one had thought about, like, you know, like, um, what do you call it? Like, XP grinding. Well, you couldn't even XP grind back back then because there was no XP collider. It was just, you know, regular, regular level ups. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is so cool. But, like, the reward for it is really not that there. So I'm, like, not a massive fan of aspirational buildings. I think there should be, like something more to them like not just that they're cool to look at and that they're big buildings but then part of me like loves it as well i like the simplicity of it i don't know um i'm just being a scrooge maybe but uh, let's get into ranking all seven of them so some people count the king homer sky skyscraper as an aspirational building or at least the tapped out wiki does i don't count that one mainly because i feel like to be an aspirational building, I probably should have added this as a criteria, it has to be something that was added in the base game, and also something that every player can earn to get, whereas the Homer Skyscraper, I know it's in the mystery box, but like, or the yearbook, but it's not, you know, that's the yearbook, I don't count that, it's not in the store, so let's get into it with number seven, sorry, I have uh, been postponing for too long, so number seven, this might be a controversial one, but I think the worst one out of all of them is the popsicle stick skyscraper. Now I might get a lot of slack for this, and I've got I will defend this to my dying death, right? My dying breath, not death. 
I generally don't like the popsicle stick skyscraper. Main reason why, I think it looks ridiculous. I think it, well, they all look ridiculous, but like this one in particular looks ridiculous. Two, it's so big and it takes up like, you know, because it's so large, like putting it somewhere is kind of difficult. At least with the escalator to nowhere, it's slim. And the 50 foot magnifying glass, you can, it's quite slim at the, you know, it's chunky at the base, it's slim in the middle. And then the big magnifying glass, you can at the very least see things through it. This one, I just, I don't know, there's something about it. I just think it, it dominates the entire screen wherever you put it. So I always want to just put it like out in the middle of nowhere, away from my sight. It's the worst one in my opinion, but if you like it, if there's any popsicle stick skyscraper stands in the comments, please let me know. However, saying that, I still, like, if I had to say do I dislike it or like it more, I would say I like it more than I dislike it, but I had to put something at number seven, and unfortunately it's the popsicle stick skyscraper. Number six is the Sun Sphere. Yeah, I, I just like, I like the Sun Sphere, but like part of me, I, I never know what to do with it. Like, I don't know how to decorate it. it it's so big and clunky. Um, sort of decorating around it, I just find it a bit difficult. I also don't think it's like, I like it, but it's not very interesting. You know, it's I think it's like the least funky looking aspirational building. It is just a big dome, like that's all it is. So, yeah, I can understand if some people put it at number seven. To be fair, I'm only putting it at number six because I I think the big size of this. I've had so many issues with placing this in the game more than the others. So, that's the why. And at least the sun's fair. You can just like plop somewhere, and it do it doesn't take too much of the screen up. Number five is the fortress of chocolate choc chocolateude. This is actually an aspirational building. I think often people forget about this. This costs 10 million though and it earns no cash. I count that as an aspirational building. Uh, I don't know why, people don't often talk about this one. Oh, people always talk about the, the big three obviously and then there's a few others people talk about. I don't wanna reveal my entire list. But um, yeah, this is an aspirational building. Main reason why I'm not putting any higher is I think it's a bit difficult to decorate because of its chocolatey nature. However, if you could place it around other chocolatey buildings, I think it works out. So it's like a 50-50. Uh, I do like the look of it. It's got a cool animation when you tap it, the dude comes out the top. Um, I think these, the next five, I actually like all the all of the next five. I just think out of all of them, this one was like the least interesting to me. But I can understand if you guys like this building. I know there's a, a lot of people who really love this one. So and the chocolate box. So the chocolate box are uh, apparently a fan favorite. So uh, there you have it. That's number five. Number four, the escalator to nowhere. Look, I think this is the funniest one in terms of a comedic value. When this first came out, I was ecstatic, right? And maybe I. Over the years, I've seen this in my town so much that maybe I've lost the the will to live for it. But like, I like this one a lot. I think it 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 it's cool. It's a funny little gag. The dude, you know, they just fall into the little end of thing, and then the cycle repeats. Um, in terms of like its practicality, it makes absolutely no sense. I think that's part of the reason why it's uh, it's lovable though. It can't be denied though, it does take up a lot of the screen. It is difficult to place, it is difficult to decorate. I still low, I think that, at the very least though, I think it is cool looking, so that elevates it enough to number four. And number three, I was I was debating, I think they're about on par really, these two, but I put the 50 foot, 50 foot magnifying glass uh, above it, mainly because the one thing I think it's got over it is you can do cool things with the little burning effect. Like, you can put it on the popsicle stick tower, like the episode, or you can put it, like, somewhere else. And I've, I've, I like that little feature. Um, yeah, I also really like the fact that you can connect this. It looks a lot like the pavements around here, so I found this one, like, the easiest to decorate out of all of them. So, yeah, that's the main reason why I'm putting it above the escalator to nowhere. Number two, oof, is the sit and rotate. Ah, the one, like, biggest criticism I have of this one, yeah, it, it does fill the screen, I, I know, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, um, I don't care. I don't know, like, I, I forgive this for taking up the screen. It's such a cool building, and you can do so many things with it. I, I sort of forgive it for taking up the screen. Yeah, I don't mind if this one takes up the screen. It's just the others, like... 
I, I don't want to do like a fancy design for this, for example. Whereas like this, I'm willing to take a lot of space to, to design like a really nice little design for the sit and rotate. Um, my biggest sort of criticism about the sit and rotate is I don't know if it really should be an aspirational building. I, I like... I because it's it's like kind of a prominent part of the show. Like I know it doesn't make like tons of appearances, but it makes a, f a fair few, I swear. And it's kind of weird because it's like a restaurant. Like all these others so far, you know, like this is just a big stupid thing in Springfield. This is uh, a big stupid thing in like another town. Um, this is from like a fictional TV show within the Simpsons universe. This is just another one of those stupid sites in Springfield. This is a stupid site in Springfield. But the sit and rotate is an actual restaurant. And so I'm always like, I was always a bit iffy about this being a aspirational building. But I think if I had to rank them all, if I just put that aside, there are a lot of more ben I think all the benefits of the sit and rotate outweigh its uh, negatives. But there you have it. It's number two. But I recognize it probably shouldn't be a aspirational building. Speaking of, can we have that number one drum roll? That's your drum roll. Number one is the Krusty Burger oil rig. <sighs> yeah. Um, do you want to know the reason why? It's the fucking easiest to decorate. <laughs> you just place it in the water. That is honestly 100% the only reason why it's number one. I don't even care. I'll fully admit it to you. Number one, Krusty Burger oil rig, easiest to decorate. Like, I can tell you this, it takes up the screen. It can be quite tricky. I think you can do a lot with it, but... Uh, it does take up the screen. This takes up the screen. Takes up the screen. This is chocolate, so it's kind of hard to decorate. This kind of takes up the screen and is ugly looking. And this takes up the screen. Look, this is just by, by far the easiest one to decorate. So that's the one of the main reasons. But also, I think it's one of the coolest things you can place in your sea. I, I do think it looks really awesome. And again, you can make the same, you know, the same argument with the sit and rotate. This probably should earn cash. I probably agree. Uh, if it were, you know, if this was added as a decoration, I'd be like, what the hell? This should be. A but it is technically a building. And yeah, it doesn't earn cash. But then n none of the aspirational buildings earn cash. And yeah, even though I think you could argue that this shouldn't be an aspirational building, I don't care. I'm going to say it's number one. So that is my video. Please tell me how you would rank all seven of them. Make sure to. Leave down below your rank. I want to see it. That's not difficult. You can rank seven things. You can do it. Don't you say you can't. If I see someone comment in and they haven't ranked all seven, I'll be mad. Um, yeah. So, sorry. This was very random and very out there. I'm also very, very tired. But I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.